On the last episode of What We Know, we talked about analyzing the trailer and seeing what was in it. A lot of feedback from you guys telling me that I didn't know what the shotgun was. And you're right, I'm a good editor, but I'm not a good writer and researcher. And I'm sorry for that. You guys were telling me that it was an M1014 or a Benelli M4. Another one that I got was an XM1014. So we'll really know once we get into the actual game. So until then, let's get into the video. You got this cooler. I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> if you're wondering what's going on, the point of this video is to show you what kind of engine we're going to be looking at once we get into the game. Take Squad for instance. It's a game that I like to play a lot, and it's the exact same engine that Void Interactive is going to use for Ready or Not. The Unreal 4 engine is an engine that is very, very commonly used amongst indie developers and AAA developers because it's cheap and it's easy to use. I used to think that the Frost engine was better, but then when I saw Mass Effect Andromeda, uh, no. If I could point to another indie game that looks really pretty with the Unreal 4 engine, it's probably going to be Hell Let Loose, a video game that's going to be coming out somewhere in 2018, but it looks beautiful. Just look at that mud. Oh my God. But do rag, you can't point to a AAA game that uses this kind of engine. Well, sir, I sure can. Just look at Fortnite. Well, well that's actually a better idea. Look at Gears of War 4. That game used Unreal 4. We'll just go down the list. Whoa, that's a lot of games. Holy cow. So yeah, Void Interactive has a lot to work with with this engine. I really hope that they actually make something great. Another thing that they use is something called GameSparks, which I'm not too familiar with. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure what GameSparks actually is, but from what I have heard, I think it's some kind of tool that you can use to manipulate the engine. I think that's what it is. Um, I've also heard some stories of GameSparks not being uh, transparent with the people that actually use it and then they've been actually screwed out of money so they might also be dealing with that too who knows but i mean what business doesn't have shady practices i mean this might be something that they're dealing with who knows it's probably why they're not talking to us probably another reason but i hope i gave you a little insight into what engine we're going to be looking at once we get into the game and this marks the end of another video i, I decided to do this because you know, I didn't think that the NG w would be that big of a topic, so I just decided to post it today. Um, and, and it's a short video, too. So I'll see I'll see you on Friday when I upload a bigger video with the Dev Block 2. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.